Back in 1874, this specimen was sent back from the island of Rodriguez uh, in the Indian Ocean of a tree they called the café marron, a kind of coffee. It was preserved here, given a Latin name, and put in the herbarium. And then, about 50 years later, people on Rodriguez realized that Café Marron had disappeared. And then, in 1979, someone found a plant. Was it or was it not Café Marron? A specimen was sent here, compared with this specimen, and indeed it proved to be the case. So, from that single plant, a cutting was taken and sent here to Kew for propagation. From that single cutting, horticulturalists grew a handful of cloned specimens. But although they flowered frequently, they never produced viable seed. Without the ability to reproduce, the Café Marron was still doomed. So the plant earned the nickname, the living dead. The daunting challenge of rescuing it was taken up by endangered plant specialist, Carlos Magdalena. After several months of experimentation with heat and light, he finally managed to induce the plant to produce seeds. But when they germinated, the young plants had leaves so unlike the Café Marron he knew, he thought he must have made a mistake. That's quite different from Café Marron. It's, it's totally different, isn't it? Different color, different leaf shape. So, were you surprised? Well, I was surprised in the way that i never seen them before. This strange plant looked nothing like the herbarium sample. At first, nobody could be sure that it was even the same species. But as it grew, it changed. And eventually, it morphed into a recognizable adult plant. But what is the reason for this dramatic change as the Café Marron matures? The answer is camouflage. This is the most famous inhabitant of the island of Rodriguez, a giant tortoise. It loves bananas. but they also like green leaves, and that's their main food. So any plant growing close to the ground has very little chance of survival, while creatures like this are going around eating them. And that's the clue to the mystery of the Café Marron. When it's small, it produces leaves that are very thin and not even green. And the tortoise, whose eyesight is not very good, doesn't even see it. So he takes very little notice of leaves like this. And the Café Marron can grow. As it grows, it becomes a bit bigger. And still, its leaves are thin and dark and rather inconspicuous. And it's not until it's really quite tall does the Café Marron plant produce its proper green leaves and its flowers. But by that time, it's well beyond the reach of a giant tortoise. So that is the solution to the Café Marron mystery. The plant produces two different leaves as a defense of being eaten.